Hello and welcome to my Fat Pack unboxing of Magic the Gathering Battle for Zendikar. My name is Ringvolt and I've been playing ma Magic since Magic Origins pre-release. So my opinions will be bad, very bad, or plain simple wrong. So here we are with the fourth Fat Pack. So gonna get dust delving. So f first pack, nothing of noteworthy. Second, we had a Gideon. Third, we had a the Alcom Firebird. This is the Mythic. This is the probably the poorest Mythic in Battle for Zendikar. We've had no expeditions. So I wonder what surprises we're gonna get this time. So again, we got paste underneath. All the pretty artwork. And numerous amounts of cardboard. So, Battle for Zendika D20. So in the fat pack you get 9 booster packs and you get 80 cards, 80 land cards. You also get a rules book and copious amounts of cardboard. So here we are, we're going to go st straight in. So the first pack. As per normal, I will just go straight to uncommons. So, first one is a Fire Metal Mage. Second is Retreat to Core Helm. Blighted Fen. And Fairy Stream. So another fire mantle mage, another Zella port cutthroat, blighted cataracts, and a mirror shepherd. <coughs> I'd like to see a deck using a mirror shepherd. I know it's a very expensive card, card, but be interesting to see it in use. Or one of, sla of slaughter, fire mantle mage, adverse conditions, and we have a earth form beyond. Which I think it might be one of my first form beyonds. Um, at the beginning of the upkeep, put a 1 1 colorless Eldritch Sign token creature can onto the battlefield. As sacrifice this creature, add 1 to your mana pool. And then you can sacrifice from beyond, search your library for an Eldrazi card, refill it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. So, Skyrider Elf, Ruination Guide. Lab Hammer and Radiant Flames, and we have a foil Mist Intruder. Watch Shambler. Amongst another fire, Titan's presence, Ghoul Overseer. I think the 
these fat packs because if they're packed tightly they're actually more difficult to open they don't come apart as easily so we got a plated crusher grave wumbler bloody gorge endless one Noting, I believe that these five that I've got are all from the same case. I'm not 100% sure. But I have a reasonable suspicion that it, that might be the case, which is good because it's um, less random, I suppose. So we got a Box Shambler, Groove Tender Druids, Coastal Discovery, and we got. Uh, an oblivion seller. So this is actually part of the dual decks in Eldrazi v Zendikar. And I've got a feeling that's probably my first one out of um, Battle for Zendikar. The only other one I'm missing out of Battle for Sendigar is Void Renoir. So, Vile Aggregate, Skitter Skin, Dampening Pulse, and we have another mythic, Omnath Locus of Rage. So it's going to be a third in a row. Or will this contain a mythic? Groove Chandra Druids. Blighted Cataract. Doesn't feel heavy. Retreat to Amuel. And Brutal Expulsion. So, during this this uh, fourth box we got two mythics so Omanath which is whenever land enters the battlefield under control puts a 5-5 red green elemental creature token onto the battlefield whenever Omanath or another elemental you control dies Omanath deals 3 damage to that creature or player and then we got Oblivion Sower which is when you cast Oblivion Sower target opponent tar exiles the top 4 of his or her library then you may Put any number of lands that player owns from exile onto the battlefield under your control. And we got foil, which is Miss Intruder. And the ways we've got Brutal Expulsion, Endless One, Grull Overseer, Radiant Flames, From Beyond, Emerald Shepherd, and a Jewel, jeweled Land. Uh, Prairie stream. So this concludes the fourth box.